Have you heard people mention choice-based interactions or choice-based handling, or maybe even mention a choice-rich life? Have you wondered what that means? Well, choice-based interactions are those things that you do with your snakes or other animals that are based on giving the snake the option to engage with you or not. That means that they can choose to interact, and if they opt out of interacting with you, they will not be forced. A choice-rich life for snakes and other animals means providing them with opportunities to make choices in their daily lives. This approach is based on the recognition that snakes and all animals are capable of making decisions and have individual preferences and needs that should be respected. To start down this path, you may be literally opening doors and remaining nearby, but not interfering with your snake's decisions. And in this way, you're going to be building trust and allowing them to figure out on their own that you are not a threat, that you will not invade their personal space, and that you will not force them to do anything against their will, including forced handling other than in the event of an emergency. Choice-based interactions may involve offering animals a variety of enrichment activities or environmental features that they can interact with in different ways, such as puzzle feeders, climbing structures, or water features, depending on the species. Caretakers might provide opportunities for snakes to choose when to come out of their enclosures and when to go back, which areas of their enclosure they want to spend time in, or when they want to participate in training and when they don't. Interactions are on a voluntary basis and the snake is consenting to the interactions. Research has shown over and over across species that giving animals more control over their environment and daily experiences, in other words, a choice-rich life, can help to promote their physical and psychological well-being, reduce stress and anxiety, and improve their overall quality of life. Choice-based interactions and a choice-rich life are important aspects of animal welfare and can help to foster positive relationships between animals and their caretakers. By recognizing and respecting animals' individual needs and preferences, we can help to ensure that they are experiencing positive welfare, enhanced well-being, and living the best lives possible given that they are in captivity in the first place. So how is this the same or different than choice-based handling? Well, choice-based interactions do not necessarily involve handling at all. Choice-based handling in animal care and in snake keeping is an approach that prioritizes giving animals control and choices in their environments, including when they are touched and when they are handled. Unless it's an emergency, they are able to opt out of being touched or handled if they choose. Again, by doing this, we are recognizing that snakes are sentient beings with their own needs and preferences and providing them with opportunities to express those preferences and make choices about their daily lives, including when they want to interact with us or not, including when they want to be handled and touched or not. We are showing them respect and enhancing their lives under captive management as much as possible. Choice-based handling involves training animals to participate in their own care such as teaching them to present different body parts for examination or treatment and establishing ways to communicate with them what is about to happen and what we would like them to do and then allowing them to opt in or opt out of participation. This approach has been applied in a variety of settings, including zoos, aquariums, and research facilities, and it has been applied across taxa. That means across several different animal species, and it is increasingly recognized as an important component of ethical and effective animal care. By giving animals more control over their environments and daily lives, choice-based handling can help reduce stress, improve welfare, and foster more positive relationships between animals and their caretakers. To learn more, you can follow Behavior Education on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or join us in our Patreon community for training, behavior modification, and behavior consultations. You can watch the Choice-Based Interactions and Choice-Based Handling playlist, which is free on YouTube, as well as the Lima playlist, or Least Intrusive, Minimally Aversive, on my YouTube channel. And this includes a step-by-step -step short instructional video about how to get started with Choice-Based Handling. You can also read one of the numerous studies about how agency, choice and control, cooperative care, and consent behaviors, as well as positive reinforcement, improve animal welfare. I recommend starting with the journal article Born to Choose by Laoti et al., where you can learn how all organisms have a biological imperative for freedom, how restraint is inherently aversive, and how choice is reinforcing. 
I also recommend the book Mental Health and Wellbeing for Animals by Franklin D. McMillan, as well as the book Zoo Animal Learning and Training from Wiley Blackwell Publishers, which highlights teaching animals to voluntarily participate in their own care through positive reinforcement training, cooperative care, and consent behaviors. Thanks for listening. Thanks for learning and thanks for watching. Until next time, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.